can you just kind of describe how it was out there, your first match uh, coaching at Naval Academy? Um, it was good. It was, it, was, it was finally good to be in the arena, um, see the guys with the singlets on and not just in the practice room and, and, and finally get a chance to compete with such a crazy season. Um, so that, that experience was good. I, I would have liked to have the, the win over Pitt. Um, you know, we needed some guys to, to step up. We needed some, some, we had, you know, 65 and 74 were critical matches, um, you know, 84 through heavyweight. Uh, you know, we had some issues up there. And, uh, but like we say, you know, it's a, it's a team sport. It's an individual sport. It's a team sport. And, and, and the next guy's got to be ready to go. Um, but we had some chances to win the duel overall. You know, I, I'm happy with, with um, how the guys performed with, with the, the interruptions in training and, and the philosophies that we've been trying to push on them and the things that we were looking for from them when they got out there in the singlet. And so I felt pretty good about that. I think the staff feels pretty good about that. We've got some things to work on, you know, when you see things in competition where a guy's um, is succeeding and when he's not succeeding. Um, but overall, uh, I'd like to have the win, but I, I'm, I'm okay with how they, they competed right now. Yeah, I mean, looking at, at some of the positives, you know, Cody had a good match there uh, against a tough opponent. Uh, just talk about him. Obviously, he's the team captain this year for you guys. You know, just talk about his growth. And it, I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've known Cody for a long time, yes? No, not really. I mean, I, I, well, I had some ties to the Maryland area, and, and we've crossed paths before. Um, for Cody in particular, we, we knew the match was going to be one where he was going to attempt to slow it down. He was going to keep it a, a square, boxy kind of style. Um, you know, so we talked about it and said, look, we, we want to make this guy wrestle. We want to make this guy move um, and, and get him reacting to our fakes. And, um, you know, we were ready for a, an explosive shot to come low through the ankles. And, and, and Cody never allowed him to pull the trigger on that. Um, one time, I think we, were, we, we got there, we, we had a couple other shots we could have finished. Um, but, yeah, he wrestled a smart match and, and the overtime goal was a smart match. You know, I know you like to score points for your guys and, and get out there and, and put points on the board. Uh, what, how'd you feel about that? It looked like early on, you you know, your guys had the pressure on and some of the lightweights, you know, looked like they were pushing the pace. You know, especially yeah. Cody's camp, it looked like it kind of warmed down a little bit. But overall, how'd you like kind of the style that you're trying to, to bring here? Yeah, I, I liked it. From the guys who performed, I mean, when they, when they win, we like it, right? Um, but, yeah, I think they, 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 they looked pretty solid in, in, like I said, in, in the way we want them to compete. And, and um, we don't try to change the style too much. We, we have a style – in terms of putting points on the board, we want that. But, you know, Casey Cobb has a place where he wrestles, and we continue to improve on that. And then we, we need to add some things for Casey. Um, you know, Logan Treister is, is very methodical. Um, you know, he, he's got his plans and he keeps to his plans. We just got to be careful if we ever get knocked out of our game plan that he can recover from that mentally during the bout. Um, Jacob Allen, you know, had a chance to put himself in the match, just a couple setbacks on some singles he needs to finish. Um, 57, I mean, you know, Andrew Suniglia with his, his debut, I mean, the, the guy looked awesome. He looked tough. He, you know, he's, he, he's a hammer on top. Um, he's got, he's great on his feet too. So, I mean, he, he performed Tanner. Tanner's uh, only only error in the match was he was waiting for the referee to help him with the stall call. And so he learned a lesson today. You, you know, if, if we get the stall call, great, but he needs to wrestle out of that position. He doesn't, he can't sit there and wait for help. And we can only, you know, yell stalling so much. He's got to wrestle out of that position is what he's got to do is where it should have been. Yeah. Uh, you know, looking at it overall, where'd you feel like he kind of just got away from you guys? You mentioned the heavy, uh, you know, some of the upper, upper weights, you know, you knew you were going to struggle a little bit, but, you know, are there any particular matches you look at and you're like, maybe we should have had that one? I think uh, at 84, I think, you know, we, we moved Finney up from 74 to 84. And, um, you know, I think he, he, he may have lacked a little mental confidence. He could have he competed at 84 today. Um, and I think he knows that. I think a lot of these guys, you walk off, you, you, when you feel a guy, you know, I, I could have done better, performed better than what I did. So I think 84 was a critical match and, and 74 were a critical match. We knew 65 was going to be a battle. We knew 41 was going to be a battle. Um, we thought we could still win it at 33, catching him after a one hour way in. We thought that might play a part too, because this is early in the year and everybody's adjusting to weight. Um, and then it, we knew we had that, we needed to do well up through those weights before we got to those final three. You know, just overall, how weird is it, you know, being in this empty gym and, you know, you're wearing a mask while you're coaching and, you know, just this COVID environment. And, you know, here we are January 3rd season debut, you know, it's unlike anything else we've ever seen before. I mean, how are you adjusting to it? How's the team adjusting to it? You know, how weird was it today being a coach in here? Yeah, well, I actually think I, I didn't feel anything um, really any different. I think the, the big, biggest thing was we had two dual meets going. We had, you know, 20 guys uh, ready to compete. 
And so I think they had that, that camaraderie going and, and, and rooting for each other. So, you know, I think we added our own uh, uh, fan atmosphere, you know, with everybody being in singlets and everybody competing. And um, so that, that part, I didn't really feel we missed too much. I mean, I'd love to have the fans here, but I felt pretty good about it. Uh, what do you want to see here in your next dual meet? Obviously, it looks like you're going up to Clarion, uh, and you have a friend up there, I, I understand, too. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, we're looking to make changes, you know. Uh, you know, Jacob Allen's going to make some changes. Tanner no, is going to make some changes. Um, and then, you know, I think we'll, our upper weights may change a little bit um, going into Clarion. So I just look for these guys to, you know, this week will be a final week where we finally see guys in competition. We actually see some areas as a team that we need to correct. You know, I think we've got some issues on bottom that we need to fix. Um, and then individually, there's a few key weights that things we've got to fix. And the, the one thing I, I love about these guys, these guys are re really coachable. In fact, I would say it's one of my most coachable teams that, you know, from, from being a first year coach and just getting to know them and, and, and being in the room with them for interruptions um, these guys are extremely coachable and they listen, you know, and so I, I think, you know, go to Clarion. I think we, we continue to get better. That's all I got. Thanks. Uh, Thanks Phil, again. Phil Bergman. Yep. Hey coach, uh, just first question. These kids, uh, athletes have been wrestling against each other for so long. How is it to now see them go out in competition against another team? Uh, they needed it. You know, we needed it. You know, uh, Chet called me yesterday and, and wished me luck and, and, um, you know, our hope was, uh, you know, Pitt didn't have their final test result in, until today. And so we, we didn't want to see a, a Lehigh Hofstra thing where the duel's about to start and then it gets canceled, you know, because of COVID. So uh, finally getting to see them compete against somebody else. And they were eager to compete against somebody else. And, and so, yeah, I think it's great just to break the monotony of what's been happening all year. Uh, Travis, with his win coming – overtime for the victory what type of leadership did you see out of him as a captain to really fight back and put the team on his shoulders there yeah the overtime wins we say it's deep water and, and um you know anybody from navy we get a guy in overtime and, and is what we consider deep water we we need to win these guys like i put them on the track i put them on the treadmills we put them on the bikes you know the one thing this team has no problem with is is being conditioned and in shape and um, so if we get a guy to that point and we get him in overtime, you know, I feel confident that, that we're going to win. And, and Cody, you know, getting overtime wins, the hard victories, those are the matches that matter. When you're supposed to win, that's great. But when you're on paper, when you're not supposed to win uh, or you're not perform the way you, you're supposed to, I mean, those wins are big. And so getting into tight bouts, those are the ones that pump up the bench, you know, and get the next guy fired up. And, you know, that's what I told him. Every time you go out there, understand you're getting the next guy ready, you know. So if you lay on your stomach – and you don't compete, you know, then that next guy's not getting ready and you're hurting us. And so he definitely picked up Cobb and then Cobb came out and, and man picked up, uh, you know, Cerniglia and, and then we had a little setback and then and at 74 and 84 is when we needed to get momentum back. This was uh, your first time leading Navy out. Was it all you expected it to be? No, not at all. You know, I, that's, I told the guys, you know, we have to be a long-term thinking, you know, team. We, we want to win every bout we want to go into, we want to win every duel meet. Um, but for myself and for my staff, you know, we, we've got to consider, you know, the future and, and what happens when they step out there. And we need each guy to learn from the next guy, you know. So we'll, we'll get back tonight and we'll bust up this video and, we'll, we'll, we, you know, we'll highlight the areas that we, we performed, you know, where we needed to perform exactly of what we've learned and studied in the room and, and trained for. And then we just continue to build on that. And we've got to develop not a Navy style. We've got to, we've got to keep developing a, a Navy set of rules of how we, how we wrestle, you know, whether it's on the edge, whether it's on the mat on the top, how we ride, you know, when there's 30 seconds on the clock and the score is this, what you should be doing. So we're still getting that figured out for them. And then the idea is every year when we have plebes come in, that, that, that mindset is there and the upperclassmen are passing it down. That's what's important is, is the long term uh, of Navy wrestling. Last question for me. Uh, it was his first duel, first match for the freshmen. What do you see out from uh, Cerniglia out there today? Yeah, Cerniglia was, was – uh, he was solid, man. I, 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 I joked with Dan Neff. I said, I'm, I'm really glad I recruited him here, even though I wasn't here at the time. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, yeah, having him is, is a great, um, great asset. I thought Luke Lucerne did well for, a, you know, a plebe on the mat. You know, he's direct, you know, right into the academy. So they both looked, you know, really well.